What's going on guys? I play Pokemon Board here and welcome to a new series um I just made and it's going to be called Pro Tips and it's just basically gonna be me giving you guys some tips on our video games and whatnot and this is obviously Pokemon as you can see on the screen and this video is going to be about setting up your team or choosing the Pokemon that you want on your team. And uh, for this video, for this example, I'm going to be using the OU tier and just the Pokemon the OU tier. I'm not going to, uh, go, I'm not going to use Pokes from any other tiers just to keep it simple. And uh, most of you guys know the OU tier the best, so I'm just going to stick with that. First thing that I really uh, like to do when choosing my team, and I recommend for you guys to do, is to get three special attackers and three physical attackers. Keep Keep the uh, physical and special attackers even. If you get two walls that just don't have any attacks, then have uh, two physical attackers and two special attackers. You need to keep an even amount of those because, say, if you take uh, four special attackers, two physical attackers, say one of those uh, phys physical attackers is your lead, like um, an Aerodactyl, even though Aerodactyl isn't in this tier, just the first Pokemon that came to my mind. Aerodactyl gets taken out. The opponent has a Blissey, and then you're... Uh, other physical attacker can't really do that much to Blissey. Maybe it's a, uh, I, I I don't know. Maybe maybe it maybe it's just not fighting type. Maybe it can't hit Blissey that hard. Then you're gonna get walled by Blissey because no special attacker is going to be doing that much to Blissey unless it's like Specs Heatran Overheat. That's just that's gonna wreck a lot of things. <laughs> not gonna lie, but uh. As I said, make sure to uh, keep a fine line between physical and special attackers. Keep them, always keep them even. Um, step two to setting up your teams is to have good type coverage. You're not gonna want to have three of the same, three or more of the same type. Um, two of the same types, okay. Like say if you have, um, let me see here, like Gyarados and you have a Jellicent. They're both water types, but they're quite different. Gyarados is water and flying, and Jellicent's water and ghost. Two. You're going to use them in different situations, and that's okay, but you, if you take too many of the same type, you're most likely going to get wrecked by something. Um, you're going to want to uh, have something to resist fire in OU, because everything carries a hidden power fire anymore because of Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn is a really good Pokemon. It's number one used Pokemon in 5th gen. So you're going to have, you're going to want to have a resistant to fire. Um, I usually choose Heatran for that, or um, any kind of water type like Politoed or Rotom Wash or something that could just take those fire attacks if you um if you want to switch into them. You need to have something to be able to switch into fire attacks and uh and then you just basically go from there. You want uh your physical three physical attackers, three special attackers, and you want good type coverage. Those are the those are two basic steps to uh, team building and the rest of it is basically all you. It's all your creativity, your opinion on what you like, and uh that's about it for this video so tell me if you guys if this helped you guys at all tell me if you liked it tell me if you want to see more pro tips and until next time guys peace out